Okay, that was kind of weird. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. I think we can do that. I'll try really hard not to cut the... Uh, I'm going to say not talk during the cutscenes. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not-so-wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. The fuck? Huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> She's so fucking cute, man. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. There we go. Hey, we learned how to walk. It's a very cute little Look, fox. I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. Who doesn't like foxes, man? Come on. Let's see what else we got around here. The radio. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. <laughs> She's adorable, man. Alright, that's enough dancing. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly, and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Yeah. <laughs> like later. Can with us? Oh, cool. Okay, I have to throw glitter. I, I saw I like a monster that. in here once. I showed it the finger, and it never came back. Good job. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, okay. I choose... Unicorn or stone? Um, let's take the unicorn. Choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking cute and disturbing at the same time. Ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? Okay, I'll look the box. This 
This is Grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh shit. Oh, oh please don't fall off. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. Uh, let's, keep, let's try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Oh, there's like a puzzle going on like that. I want this piece, yeah. See the brand up here. Good enough. The gas piece right here. Right now, probably, I don't know. Up here. Uh, yeah, this one down here. to smile even when I'm sad. Mm. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> Shit, man. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. We're gonna get that prize. Just gotta... uh, oh, like, what the hell? rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Oh. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. <laughs> Yikes forever. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> hey, everything's happy now. More happiness. Into the soup. We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk, and Daddy actually said hi to me. Dude, this is gonna be the most depressing fucking when I grow up, game ever. I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. Yeah. <laughs> now mommy's happy. Too. That's today. That's today. Okay. Let's complete this first mission. Uh, yeah, we'll tell mommy we're leaving. Just in case. I'm going out to play, mommy! Mommy doesn't seem very uh, interested in what we do, but still gotta let her know. Good day, morning! It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, okay. Good afternoon, morning! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cute. Okay. I can't go anywhere that way. Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is mm -hmm. where I first saw him. 
he was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you've told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> that's silly. Yeah, Mr. Voice, that's silly. You can trust foxes. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> This is where Daddy often sleeps. Daddy? This is Daddy sleeps in the car. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Fuck you, cat. Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> that didn't seem fun at all to me. Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm curious what all that stuff does, like with the heart and everything. Huh, I used a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, Look that cute little there's dog. a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Let's try to play with the puppy. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> what the fuck did I do that? Oh my god! Papa! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. I do not want to tell somebody, hey, I just killed uh, your dog. Red Sorry about that. Killer. Red ball puppy killer. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. Oh. <laughs> they got the pet the dog. I I'll guess. take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? That's yeah, some dog shit I'm about to walk through, isn't it? Yep. Oh no, I step on doggy do. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. <laughs> Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and. Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Why is there glitter in the vomit? Oh. Let's add more, and we'll head on to the next part. I feel so bad I broke the puppy. just wanted to play with it. I figured if I let it go, it was going to run out into the street and get hit. So I was like, nah, I better just keep it chained up. Or, like, tied up to the tree. But, so, nope, ended up Miss Fortune, it. at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And that party, right? Ah, yes. That too. There's a lot of shit here on the beach. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. <sighs> that is really oh, terrible. Oh shit! We just got kidnapped by a crow. What the hell? Oh, uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. All right. Uh, kick him in the balls or throw glitter at the birds? Let's throw glitter at the birds. I don't know if I'm going to be kicking okay. the balls from my glitter is shiny. There. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right, here I go. Attack. Oh shit. I didn't realize it's just gonna drop my ass. <laughs> nice little parachute yeah. dress though. Ugh, this is taking a long time. <laughs> we didn't How even go that hurt? high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in around. danger. Am I in danger? Hey, look, a bird! Oh, that was a rude bird. I like that middle finger bird, that's pretty funny. And we made it down safely. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Uh, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> So, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to 
George. About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Uh, yeah, I got to. I don't want to. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. You gotta be a good girl on top of the puppy, oh, right? Look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. What should we do about it? Let's release it back into the water. I would like to return. It smells fishy. There you go. Bye bye, fishy fishy. You saved that fishy's life. Good on us. Little Miss Fortune is very, very uh, considerate of the fishy. see what's up next and here we are the house of George I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself you'll do fine you're brave telling the truth about the puppy <laughs> stop it I'm doing it for the puppy you know <laughs> I feel this is gonna be bad uh, we'll ring the bell if we can reach it Nobody's answering. Oh, the fish is I'll invite the myself in. Time to check out the party. I thought I could look at something. I guess that. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fish. <laughs> it must be George. At least one of them is, obviously. Oh, what the... Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. That was... Fucking Are you wrong. sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Little doggy statue right there, then you got the crow. Oh my god! Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. <laughs> Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. What the hell, man? She's... Poor George is dead. I don't know who the hell that ghost kid was on the outside. What the hell is going on in this game? Ah, oh, I love the woods. With the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. What's this? A doll? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. That's a jackdaw. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, 
What do you have there? Nothing. Are you lying, Fortune? Miss Fortune? Stay back, Miss oh. Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't mm -hmm. go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> what about this circle of oh, death or whatever the hell? It looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. I mean, it could be. Um, I don't know who else it would be. Either him or like maybe just incredible or whatever. But also, Major Chip, how you doing, man? Hope you're having a good day. I'm, maybe I'm just like wishful thinking that it's the Sandman. That'd be pretty dope. I'd like to see him come back to the 2K or the WWE games. Oh, that's not good. You found the cave. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. I guess we're gonna enter the cave. And see anything oh, else in the forest I can't wait to, to see the magic inside. He's the door of the explorer. No, not quite. It's a game called Little Misfortune. Uh, we're playing a game with the, vo uh, <gasps> the voice in our head. This game is huge. Echo. <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. It's been, it's been an interesting game so far. I'm enjoying it. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. I saw a little car run by. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster <laughs> party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. That's my thought too. What the fuck? Live nude hamsters. Whoa, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? No. Let them let them do their thing. I don't want to get involved in their drama. That's all I want to see the hamster fight. Oh shit! Kicked him in the head, and now he's dragging See, him into they went the. To Porter. Oh. It looks like someone spilled their ketchup. <laughs> oh shit. Can I take the little. Oh, so what I can take the little knife. Oh, are those mints? Oh Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Do not try those mints. I just say. I'm feeling really nice. Yeah, that's kind of how it's been. It's crazy shit happening. I guess I'm back in class. Just drawing. <laughs> it really is.
crows rooting on the happy. Fortune. I'm okay. King Mike this. Thank you for the hydrate, my friend. Hope you're doing well. What's this game? This is Little Misfortune. Um, you're playing as a little girl going on an adventure from the voice in her head. And it's been pretty uh pretty messed up so far. XXX <laughs> talk about crazy. in a magical cave right now. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Got a couple of hamsters making out over here. Look at that. them with their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for she me. Is she Randy Horton? <laughs> I don't think so, but she might be. She's a little more adorable than Randy Orton, but... Let me run down here a little bit. Aww. Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Let me give her back her purse. I think we took it with us. Excuse me, I think I have your purse. Go see on so the mints, though. I tried one and it was a wild ride. Is that for me? What is it? Live nude hamsters VIP ticket. Hell yeah. That's your reward for returning the bag. A VIP ticket for the club. I get to party inside the club? <laughs> yes, and one step closer to the eternal happiness. <laughs> That's a win win for me. What's going on, AJ? Welcome, welcome. We gotta go back. I wanna see if we can get inside the club now. Before we leave this place. I don't even know if we're gonna fit inside the club, because it's kinda tiny. Excuse me, I'm a very VIP. <laughs> Here's my ticket. <laughs> Finally, a real party. Yeah, we're trying out something new today. See, uh, so far it's been pretty, pretty fun. Wow, this place is so sweet. Is this the VIP floor? I'm enjoying the yes, hell out of it. Yes, you could say it's that. It's a little twisted, Am but I, I like it. Of course you are. <laughs> sweet. Listen, Miss Fortune, you need to find the white rabbit. A white rabbit? Why? It will lead you closer to the eternal happiness. Okay, I'll find it. All right, we gotta look for the white rabbit, which better not be a euphemism. Uh, you're cute. So cute. Is that strawberry juice? Mmm, yummy. It might be. It sounds just like him. I didn't I didn't look that up, but yeah, it definitely sounds like him. Excuse what me? What the Can hell? Can you let me through? Hmm, okay. Oh no, unicorn. What are you doing? Don't be rude now. What's happening? It looks like this hamster challenged my unicorn to a dance battle. No, we don't have time for this. I'm sorry, but I can stop this now. You can do it, sweet unicorn. What the hell? <laughs> About to have a dance battle with the hamster stripper? Okay. Let's see my awesome uh, DDR skills here. <laughs> Perfect. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, it pretty much Wait. is. That did go like way longer than it should have, but it's all good. I'm so proud of you, sweet unicorn. You really showed that hamster some sweet moves. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we really need to get going. The eternal happiness is still out there. Don't you want it? Oh, yes, I really want it. Let's go. All right, let's keep going. Looking for that white rabbit. Is that it? Look, the white rabbit. Follow it. Yes. Come here, white rabbit. Let's see where this white rabbit is going. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, listen. Yes. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> what happened to the white rabbit? Wait, weren't we supposed to be following her? Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> okay, la 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 la. Hello. Oh, and I trust the voice in that's terrifying. <gasps> what the hell? Ugh, smells like bullcrap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. We can't say bullcrap? A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Phantasmagoria. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to Openfield? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? The Why? Hell is that lady? Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Fantasmagoria is coming to Openfield. I was gonna try to That's run back so and look at that awful. lady with the mask. Maybe that was we could terrifying. find time to check it out later. Wait, don't play with my feelings. Let's focus on. All right, I can't wait. There we go. Look, hey, it's Benjamin. Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. What the fuck? It's up with the adults and their masks. Also, hide your children? What? Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. 
I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. That's not be bad. Yeah, look at these masks, dude. They're terrifying as fuck. Misfortune. Oh. What? Language. Ah. <laughs> I'll never not laugh when little kids curse. I can't help it. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds that nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. <laughs> Don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Voice! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. I don't like these dead birds just dropping behind me. That's not a good sign at all. Rose, get out of here. Please don't die. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes, I do. I want to hear more of them. Yeah. Listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Mm -hmm. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look. A drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go. All right. I want to read more poetry. Oh, what the hell? Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Oh. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Okay, so if we had the, uh, if we didn't let the fish go, we could have given it to the seagull. Oh, well. What happens? Can we play? Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Hell yeah. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Aye, horsey, stop it. Oi. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. You threw glitter at it. Yeah, it's happy horse now. What else we got? Shake out that duck. Let's mm -hmm. just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Hell yeah. Of course, check this out. Oh, we blow smoke in our face. Oh, that's not normal it's okay. it's cigarettes, okay. is it? That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Well, that's true. Mommy blows smoke in her face all the time, so it's not that bad. 
Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Um, we fell on the last one, but fuck it, let's go it again. Yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold up anymore! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> hey, look, another doll. Like the one we found in the forest. When the trees are naked and the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. So we got two of those things now. More hydrochote sign. Okay, good. Go away. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? <laughs> I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. I'm gonna try to remember that. Start erasing things with fire. I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> that sounds like the worst possible place to go in this game. With everything that's happened so far, yeah, we should stay the fuck away from the pet cemetery. So. I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh. I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Yeah, I'm happy right now. She seems happy. <laughs> yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Ooh. I don't think she does. No, but my unicorn is telling me that I should work on it. I bet everyone will love me if I was a unicorn. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. I think deep down she doesn't feel loved. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Like, her mommy just drinks and smokes, and then daddy's always asleep in the car. So, yeah. She may not feel loved. But she definitely stole something for sure. Hey, what's up, Tracer Pie? How you doing, man? Couple more missing children. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Deal. We don't want to go missing and be like these children. We Ready to the find of... the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. It's not creepy as shit. Ah, that shovel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been online. I haven't uh, had time to sit down and stream since then, so I kind of. Okay, let's see. We got a heart. We got a candlestick. A little lantern. Another heart. I think it's this one. 
for some reason. But I'm gonna start from the beginning, kind of go through these. Maybe they tell you like a little here lies or whatever. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think that's the goldfish if she died in the fire. Nah. So yeah, we're gonna go one by one. Okay, Check let's out. see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> oh my god. A bug strangled a man? Nah, I don't think this is the fish. What we got next. Hmm, Stephanie Quinn. Writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? Talk about crazy! How the hell did a. Why are you buried nah, in the pet this cemetery? This is obviously a cat. It a cat said, wrote a novel. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. No, we're not gonna. That's probably a dog. Nah, I don't think so. What else we got? I, said, I think it's this one uh, just based on the thing on the outside. Let's say, Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. No, probably not that one. Never saw the window nah, coming. I don't think so. I'll keep looking. It sounds like it might have been a bird. Alright, last but not least. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a, a fish name. Congratulations, hey, Miss Fortune. It. You found the prize. It's in question. <laughs> really? Yes. You see it the little box? His dogs. Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign. Benjamin. That damn fox stole my happiness. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Uh, such a letdown. That is a letdown. Oh, there he is, right there. Look, there that he was is. Easy. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Not cool, man. Oh, shit. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Benjamin, first we like this. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When unloved oh. children in darkness Jesus. search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. Now right, let's get that damn box. At least we got all three of the we shells so far. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. It's like the painting that he did back in the forest. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Okay, I got rid of the words. Aha, there. That hole looks 
very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I do not trust this narrator. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, yeah. Oh no. Bad feeling about this. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Mr. Voice isn't here now? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Oh, damn. I drop it. Oh. Right, this help. Look what we got. Fox repellent. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ah, stupid little misfortune. What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? You sprayed fox repellent on yourself and passed out. There was quite a lot of vomit, too. Ew. Yikes forever. That didn't go as I planned. <laughs> we still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Car is GM retires after an incident. Quote, my son is missing. Bird invasion, we did win, but we had fun. The Finnish uh, hockey team. Huh. Look, the soup. You know, with the animals? Very nice. Very I dark. actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. He goes behind this bus so we can check what's over here. Just in case. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Shit. Mr. Voice that, is kind of strong. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look familiar. What? 
Why am I seeing dead children? Or missing children, rather? Look so happy drinking their yields. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hacks strangers by the dumpster. Is that oh my so? God. Mm-hmm. What is mommy doing with those strangers by the dumpster? Man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Um, I kind of want to steal it so we have money to get into the zoo. We'll do that. I'm gonna take it. It's for me. Open it. All right, I'm says. doing it. There's just a picture inside. Really? Can I see? It must be his kid. What do you think? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I knew it. I'm such a clever little lady. Happy face masks. It says, let's face it. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. This door. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. More missing children. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. I feel like Mr. Voice has something to do with these kids, man. I don't think I trust him as much as I did earlier. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Okay. That mask on the right is fucking terrifying to me. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. Board. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride Ooh. the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. I feel bad about stealing the dude's wallet. Should because, I sit like, down and wait? You don't even need it. Do as you please. Okay, thank you. Let's sit down and look at the rest of this <laughs> stuff. Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. <laughs> ah, hey, hello? Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. Let's go and have a seat while we wait next to these I'll old sit. ladies. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, maybe. 
I don't know. The bus is here. Hey, the bus driver's not wearing a mask. Huh. It's the first adult I've seen without a mask on. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Pugs earlier, a pug was buried because he strangled a man. It was the first pug to ever do that. Uh, so that's why that's they came so up in conversation. Cute. <laughs> yeah, that's a little poop, Oh my god, but right in his face. Leave, little baby cow. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, unlucky things <laughs> seem to happen <laughs> all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. What are the fucking odds, man? Captain shows up and all of a sudden there's poo in the face. What are the odds? Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside, you know, without paying? Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't <laughs> got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm, what does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. Let's see how we can create a diversion. Can't go anywhere that way. A wolf. <gasps> a wolf! Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Okay. Gotta somehow distract them. Any guy. tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock. Or something like, like a stone. Oh, if I, hmm. I think I came earlier. up with an idea. What if? Tell a lie about this. I'll tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I mean, that's the only way to get inside. Trust me. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to break it. So, Hello, excuse me. There's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. That yes, worked. it worked. I'll be damned. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Meet the wolf now. That's cool. Birdie, my mom. <laughs> what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, mm. Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. 
I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Like give, give this bird, or give yourself a fuck. I like that. I repair it. 10 to 20 years. Omnivore, widely spread around the planet. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. It says. The num num, oh. they talk much. They usually work together. Uh, Founders of the huh? Mean birdie num num. Mean birdie num num. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. It says, "Owl delicious." These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. <laughs> Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't it? Yep, it, is. it doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. The wing just flips you off. <laughs> Fuck delicious. It says, Fuck you, Dillios. This shit deals. These <laughs> birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? I like it. Is this bird seed? Yeah, it's still some bird seeds, why not? I'll take the seeds because I want Your to feed the animal? birds so they're right. not hungry. Might need those seeds for later. Whoa, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area. So we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. For six. There, you see? Bet they will fit. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Homos? No. <laughs> Hormones. Ah, oh, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, oh, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. <laughs> there are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, does Benjamin transform into a good foxy? Because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Hmm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thought there was gonna be more we do, but guess not. Okay. I wish I could postcards. write Japanese so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro, but where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. Yeah, Mr. Voice, you're just jealous. Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached so to those toys. Yeah, kinda. Don't worry, I'm just looking. She's only eight years old though, man. Like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Yeah, this game is fucking nuts, man. I'm loving it. Cool. 
polar bear. Popsicle the polar bear? That is a fantastic oh name for my. a polar bear. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. Mm. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's try to not fuck this up on the first attempt. <laughs> Look, the bear in the picture is sucking a popsicle. <laughs> it looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Oh. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, <laughs> Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? what? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, alright then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Why is that a bird? It's like bird head on a... Oh shit. Bird head on a body. And fall again. I'm that like works. a shadow ninja master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Let's grow whatever it is. Evil as shit is what it is. Oh, yeah. And we fell again. I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Did you say crow see the dead. Oh really? I know that. We're getting pretty close. Oh shit, the uh, rock formation like the one earlier. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh look, it fits. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Hmm. Is the voice supposed to be the devil? Is that what's going to happen? Here we are, and nobody saw us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just <laughs> a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address like a ninja. Look, there's a note. It must no, say okay. where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is red hooded little girls. That's mm -hmm. silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Uh, okay. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? 
I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should <laughs> stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, alright. I'll be back, Wolf. And we'll sort this out about Benjamin. Okay. Do you think there could be a key in there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Like little lady misfortune, the ninja lady. This little girl is so goddamn cute. Little ninja lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. Probably not. No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. Here. Is there a key in here? Cool, another doll. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Something's definitely up with those, uh, with those dolls. Uh, Secret inside? Fancy! Okay, so we have to figure out the combination. Figure it out later. Just gotta be written down here somewhere. I'll check those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep oh, it. Secret it might be attitude. helpful. Okay. Eight, nine, four, five. Wait, that's supposed to be a six. Eight, six, four, five? Hmm. Oh, yeah, Not key on sight, but these boots are my... Misfortune. Focus. Okay, okay. Okay. It says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, <laughs> ready to attack, then you shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. some information in here about the key? Sure. I don't see why not. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Oh yeah, Miss okay. 
Miss okay. Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. You really surprise me. <laughs> a private shot. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Popsicle? Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. You need some time to open all the doors and cages. Code 27581. Okay. 27581. Perfect. Hopefully not get eaten by the wolf. Uh, uh huh. Time to meet the wolf. Mm -hmm. I have such Come a bad feeling Come. about this. Let me pet you. I'm a nice person. A little lady to spit the wolf. Oh, that was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm very terrified. I was like, yep, that's gonna eat me. Evil cousin's address box. Go stick in 15 it's open a, fields. My evil cousin's okay. address box. Spook stick in 15. Open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Sweet. I always wanted to go, yes. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen at Phantasmagoria. Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great. Great. And, as usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question. Have you ever heard this question before? one? Yes, I have not heard that question before. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? Yeah, I'm gonna say she did. I do it all the time in school. Charlene yeah. still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. I as well behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? We've seen someone die? No, but we've seen dead people. Other than in ninja movies? No. <laughs> they die in funny ways in ninja movies. Don't tell mommy. I won't. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. I feel so bad for this little girl, man. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. 
Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. This looks like a ticket. <laughs> what? A ticket? For real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome, cute. Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. Creepy <laughs> clown and... And a ghost. <gasps> a creepy clown? That's creepy. That is a creepy clown. <gasps> oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. Hey, you, from the other side, Miss yeah. Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? I'm trying. I'm trying. You want this little girl to have a good time? Especially at the creepiest place mm. on Earth. I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. Here. Hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs, and now I don't want to eat hot dogs. Oh, <gasps> ah, shit. Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. Holy shit, that's a tall ass, uh, do that stilts. Looks like Benjamin now. <laughs> this looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Stays up there. On the carousel. What else is there? The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the <laughs> resemblance. <laughs> Aww. The what? Nothing. Huh, okay. That's fucked up there, Mr. Voice. The smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy corn. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. You gotta do Are it. You really gonna eat some of it? Hell yeah. Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. Oh, oh, cigarette butts in there too? That's so gross. I keep making bad choices. Poor little girl's just getting drugged up. Yo, that was weird as shit. Uh, my heart hurts. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. No more eating ground candy. Happy last to Miss Fortune! Ah, <laughs> oh, much better. Now we know. Whorehouse, along with the carousel that we can go on. Uh, let's do the whorehouse. <laughs> oh, sweet! That haunted house must be terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Yes. Yes. All right then. Have a pleasant ride. Let's check out the whorehouse.
How bad can it be, right? <laughs> Always like little shitty roller coasters like this one. Where they have like the random things pop out at you and go boo. Like that should always make me laugh. They're fun. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling this. You think you're going to puke? I don't want to, but the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. That boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. Hey, what the hell? Yeah, that's a Japanese friend. Uh, yeah. Ah, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. Alright, what game we play? Massacre, we have whack a box Fortuna, Rewards, I think you need to have tickets to play that one now. Yeah, okay, that's where the boat's going to be, so, or probably where the boat's going to be. Let's do the Massacre one. Now with real bullets, Jesus. Uh, we'll play Black Box. Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Just because I want to get the reward ticket. That's the main reason we're doing that. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them, whack them. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> yeah, you got a ticket. That was way easier than shipping. Yes, I won. Great whacking misfortune. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Oops. Come to slow. Come to slow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't win. Well, you can try as many times as you want. Ah, okay. Do one more time. See what you want to If we need more tickets, we'll come back and play some more. So it's over here. Sweet. Fortuna fortune teller. Can I try this? Oh shit. Let's wait first. Let's see what we got. There's a doll in here. Check those sweet rewards. A golden chocolate oh, coin, a cute tiny skirt, and a doll. Oh, sweet. Let's see what I can get. Six tickets total. Can you afford to wear first? <laughs> I know who will look amazing in this tiny skirt. 
Shadam! <laughs> there you go, unicorn. <laughs> you look like a sweet little lady. It's so pretty now. Alright, so we need four and then at least one more for the fortune teller. So five more tickets. Those real quick. One of those where it's like multiple items and you need multiple tickets. Sorry. 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 Boing. Come to slow. Damn it. Boing. Damn it. I didn't win. Well, you can try as many times as you want. Ah, okay. the dolly, the chocolate coin, talk to the fortune teller, then go find the boat. Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one, so maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look, what's that? A floating balloon! Is it for me? Yes! Okay, <laughs> Thank you. Finally got a balloon. Oh, uh, son yes, of a bitch. Luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. It's so sad. She just wanted a balloon. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? Fortune, Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? No, I can use another ticket for that. Tell us anything. Plus, we only got enough for the two things here, so. Let's find this out. Three tickets, we get the dolly. Oh, one of those dolls again. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. 
Huh, oh, really? And the sire, you say? I like the happy, sire. So hopefully, what did you that's choose? all it is. Nothing. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. Get everything out of there. Let's just go to the boat now. Turn on the ghost. Did I get it? There it goes. <laughs> it says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Oh, thanks. Huh. Okay. You got the golden coin. Oh, this is not looking good. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... <laughs> no, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Yes, I am. Benjamin this is going to be back. so cool! I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you'll know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. Kraken are a team of hockey players in Seattle, Washington. That's what they are, it's a little Miss Fortune. Kraken, if you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Oh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking. Is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. <laughs> well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, I don't have any oh. fish on me. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. <laughs> Was that the fish from the bridge? <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge, mm -hmm. remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me <laughs> on my mouth? Because he was in love with me, because I saved him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. Aww. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doko desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey! Mysterious, where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, oh, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. We talked so much the guy jumped overboard 
and drowned himself. That's pretty fucking awful. At least we're here on the island where Benjamin lives. That's a lot of toys. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hello? is going to make be a trap or something. Hopefully it wasn't. Oh, I, yep. Oh, right. damn it. My little foot got stuck. Oh, no. It's the monster. Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh, get out. Run! Okay. Monster didn't get us. What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Benjamin. Don't make any sudden moves. He's going to get up. I trust the fox. <gasps> oh, your boss. <laughs> so <laughs> so blushing. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Benjamin. Damn it, stupid voice. Get back here, Benjamin. Please, Miss Fortune, <laughs> stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. Yeah, we're gonna keep running after Benjamin. Oh shit. Ooh. What's this? Really? Oh, thank God. You don't remember me saying if you <laughs> keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh huh. I know I could have been more specific, like there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? <laughs> yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, this makes me think about Bubsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bubsy the teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trap dead in the bear trap. Oh, poor Bubsy. Make that, make that happy trap again. Let's see what this one says. Right? 
it stuck. Huh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Oh, shit. We have to get the rock out. Let's see if I can take it out real quick. It said it's stuck, so it probably won't come out. It's stuck, huh? Okay, yeah. So much for that. Oh shit, I just walked right past it. The games you enjoy, you can The games you, you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Nothing. It's weird Mr. Voice can't see the dolls. I see everything else but not the dolls. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. When Mommy and Daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on. Second question. Girl, Do you trust me? Ooh. Yeah, tell us about the bear trap. I kind guess. Of. I can only hear you in my head. And I trust my own head. So, yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Yes. Easily yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Thank you, miss. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure the fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. I like those little stick things hanging next to the horns. Oh, it looks shit. like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> be brave, Miss Fortune. Exactly. We just gotta be brave. We can do this. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us, and everything will be fine. So, is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Oh, a video player! Fancy! <laughs> I like the way she says fancy. Fancy! Let's see. Okay. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, what I broke hell? Benjamin's tape. Is that Benjamin's diary? 
got to read it to see maybe it'll tell us where he put our happiness. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin Johanalius Redfox. I knew his name was Benjamin. <laughs> So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. I must make a dangerous mission. Mission must be done. It is what I train to make. Nervous, but it is okay. I have study and bigger confidence. I travel from Sensor D to Pandora when fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. After a long walk in fog, I arrive at a city called Open Fields. Tiny town with has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV, kitchen. I sleep sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Ate mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep, try find Parasite, did not find it, day one fail. Parasite you say? Many victims gone missing in Parasite game, I can't help, feel sad, I send message to boss, some victims not coming to Center City, I see Parasite, it scared me, also not eat more mushrooms, stomach ache and much gas is no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Who are the victims? What game? And is afraid of the parasite? Mushrooms, serious danger, not feel good, danger mushroom. I stay home, cut wood and do tea and root soup, good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures if she sees them good. Parasite recognized, Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play, I has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow, now rest until stomach good. Oh, poor Benji. I like that picture on the top left of him farting, that's pretty funny. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo played old trick many times now, but it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued by follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape, scary. Hmm, missing a voice? It's a monster. Boss sent me message, watch victim house, I sleep outside house, hide in trash, I fail find parasite, it did not come today, big trouble, misfortune watch me, strange. Why she see me, she big eyes, I run away, felt warm in stomach, maybe mushrooms tickle again. Big trouble, misfortune, but that's me, I bet he's in love with me. See Morgo play old trick again. Victim don't realize all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop parasite this time. I send many victims to Sensory. I got level two protector. I confident. I, now I has Prime Illumination Cane. All is again. Oh, shake out Benji stick. I try. Primev, Illumination Cane, and Woods, fun, I feel courage, practicing to help misfortune, I see she makes too much talk, I think she fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune, I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm courage now, I scared only a little. Hmm, yes, I know how to talk, he loves me. I messaged Basa, I'm doing it today. All steps followed, prepared breakfast tea, funny feeling with tea, herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today, I'm ready. If Benji has a boss, he has a job, then I can be married to him. Yes. 
So we're gonna marry Benji, I guess. After all this is done and over with. Let's fix the TV again. Let's see the meaning of love. When hatred wants to be loved. The fun stories of a boring man. <laughs> I fucking love that book title. The upside of being a spirit animal. Communication, key to cooperation. Learning how to be gray, death after life. It Let's looks like that. Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that enough, folks. <laughs> mm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Let's stay away from the tea. Hmm, Mr. Voice said that I shouldn't trust a fox. Because no, every time we try something, we end up getting sick, so let's stay away from it. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Shit. Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you dope. afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this... A kiss? Is this really happening? <laughs> what is that? Your diary! I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. You can't hide the children. Uh, yeah, we're gonna follow Benjamin. I don't know what the fuck that was. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Something downstairs. So now I guess we know the voice is. Benjamin, the where do you go? It's all that shit on the floor. Fur? Oh no, is this Benjamin? There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. You bring the stool over? Uh huh. Yeah, such a clever little lady. I am such a clever little lady. There we go. Time to use my ninja skills. <laughs> She's gonna fall flat on her ass. Shh! Uh -huh. What about Croc? Be quiet! <laughs> this is a ninja mission! <laughs> Benjamin, are you here? So apparently she gets the nervous farts. So it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. That's food. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Go that door. I'm gonna see what else there is over here, though. Hmm, huh. sure a picture key. of a key. Interesting. I think you can open that up. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. That's what I was thinking too. There you go. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. You gotta push the button. That secret ninja lady right, pushes then. everything. I push the button. Is 
that how we went through the vault? Yeah, right. Well, so we were supposed to do that at least. That was easy. It was pretty easy. Alright, time to find Bangy. Oh. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Let's get up the ground, Miss Fortune. Get up, Miss Fortune. There you go. You are stronger than you think. You fell like three feet. Why are you laying on the ground so hard? Wasn't that bad? You've been knocked down before. You fell out the sky and didn't break your legs, so you can Did fall you off the table and be stop fine. You? you got this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because. You're a little ninja lady. Because. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> yeah. Nothing that way. Right, let's go ahead and head out. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Literally standing right next to a deer. You're not completely alone. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Oh, we actually got the pet. Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> There's some glitter on the deer. Which, if you ever see a baby deer, stay away from it. Is that Benjamin's uh, bag? Daddy's probably Benjamin? not too far away. Are you around? You he up. must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that oh. eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Let's see what's inside his bag. What we got? Oh, this is really mysterious. For the students of the University of Center Seat Technology, protector course, three step guide, three step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. This is the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time. New realms outside of the constituted FREE, -E, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the beyond. The beyond, in simple terms, excuse me, is a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. Can't allow such beings inside the FREE -E at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war. The beyond is a mis is still a misunderstood realm. 
We haven't yet found the pieces to connect it with a logical or in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, but and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help the victims and guide them into certainty. The guidance provided with, in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to center C. Center C? I can't say that fucking word. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. Protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protectors Parasite Case P0101222 Morgo. Evaluate the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead and but doesn't realize it. The victim believes in the illusions of the beyond of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. Checklist of parasite uh, P0101222 Morgo. One, deforms reality into absurdity. Two, parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Three, it, shifts, it shape shifts into a human animal creature. Four, it quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Five, large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Step two, the surroundings. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It can lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Paint? I like to paint. Step three, prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Okay. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the, the deal. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? At the end of a deal, you say? Baby Is fox. that Benjamin as a baby? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Hmm. So what the hell is step three if I'm already dead? Let's litter it up. <laughs> Why is he following us along? All right, I guess I'll take the train back home. Okay. You can take the train back home. That's fine. More drawings. Now when I look at this. I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a mm -hmm. foxy boy. Such a foxy boy. What? Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. <laughs> oh, what the hell? So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. 
It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell yourself about uh, Phasmagoria? I did not bring that up, man. What is our little friend doing? Is he trying to protect us? Warn us? Ah, uh, I wish I had my coloring book with me. Uh. Hello, oh, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? Oh it's the God. monster! Leave Hira alone! Poor hero. I hope I get to see Hero again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh... I was hoping I can kick the can again. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's where I am. Uh... I too am a silly little, little lady. At least That's I had I fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of here, kid. Oh, we got the teenagers. By the looks of things. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well. If that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck! <laughs> give yourselves a fuck. I like it. Alright, cool. Almost here. Make sure you look both ways. No, nope. same fuck it. Huh, where's the car? Is daddy gone again? We think we get more juice for him and mommy. The pool's gone too. We got red lights. I like them. I don't like the looks of this. I really, really don't. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Where's everything? Like, the table's gone and there's like nothing here. What's that sound? Benji? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me hey, alone. We did it. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't oh. even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? 
If I play along, would you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. I hope so. We want to play more games with uh, Morgo here. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal <laughs> happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. No. No. How about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise. You know the way. Okay. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Okay, cool. So now we got a hiding spot, at least. I can turn on the radio this time around. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. Oh, we'll get to take an animal with us? I was gonna take the rock this time. was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. Okay. What's this new game gonna be? New game. Knock knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? Oh shit. You're That's scaring me, stupid! Leave me alone! The monster. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. No. Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? What happened knock, here? Knock, My knock, secret knock, spot. Knock, he won't find me in there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's that? Knock, knock, knock. Who's that? Get in the hiding spot. Our little secret spot. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. Ah! So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! Oh shit. You 
telling little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No. We made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Saved us, I think. For whatever reason, I was getting like the end of an episode of Metalocalypse vibes watching that little cutscene. Just the music and everything, the way it was going, it just gave me those vibes for some reason. Okay. Is it the next morning or? Oh no, we're just passed out. Another doll there. We got the Is rock. everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to thank Benjamin. Good idea. Benjamin, did you go outside? Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Yep, yeah, we have a name now for him. Benjamin, where Should've are you? Morgo. Let's see if we can find Benjamin out here. He's probably in the trash. Side. No, we're heading to the kitchen. That's right. More uh, rabbit stew. Mommy? I wonder where everybody went, though, man. A lot of cars out there. I can see it there in the corner. Oh, why is Mommy? I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? Oh no. What's happening? Is she dead and doesn't Mommy? know it yet? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. Are you 
you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bengi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. This is fucking heartbreaking, man. to the other side. What the hell? Is this what step three is? Pet the puppy. Oh. I can't do this. I don't know who they are. Let's see the one hamster uh, robber, aren't we? Oh. A little death worm? Remember him. things we could have seen or just random characters I wonder. <laughs> That's creepy as fuck. Nice, I like that. Making berries. That dog is fucking adorable as hell, man. Opposite looking eyes, big dumb face. Kinda love it. Oh, this place is really cold. It's okay. Keep following the puppy. And yeah, we finally get to pet the puppy. Get some glitter. Shows like the right choices on everything but two of them, I wonder. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Okay. Huh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Bangy? Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. You we were it. expecting you. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, that fucking thing is terrifying. What is this place? Is that place indeed, man? 
Oh, that's how it ends? Okay. Well, I guess we got a ending. I don't know which one it was. It was good, bad, or indifferent, but... It seemed like it was okay. We to live with Benji and the dog. Seems like a pretty solid ending. Fucking super fun game, man. Funny as hell. But I like it a lot. Whole lot of fun. Definitely gonna be playing this one through a couple more times. Try and get the other endings. I like it, man. I like it a lot. Watch these. Watch these credits real quick. Well, I like that. The yikes forever. It's a good way of saying just like super gross or that she doesn't like something. Miss Fortune, super adorable character, like I kept saying. Cute little design. Love the voice. It was perfect for a little girl. And then the drawings of uh, Benjamin. I like that as well. Yeah, man. Super fun game. Music forever. There's the, I didn't even see the Fox partying again. Things hilarious. I'm curious how much I missed though. Very curious about that. So I'll go through and pick all the all the good choices, all the and then do a bunch of bad choices as well. Maybe later on. Was a good name for a, for a demon as well or a monster. Yeah, man. Fun game. That's all I can say. like this that they have out there. I would not be against checking them out. I do have another game called Franbo.